Idle Rune contains a bunch of stuff featured in other games, primarily RuneScape. RuneScape is my favourite game, and RuneScape is, honestly, it's forged parts of my life. I learnt to count, I learnt basic math at the age of like five and six playing RuneScape. Um, and I've spent 20,000 hours playing that game. So naturally, it got to a stage in my life where I have a degree in games design, game development, blah, blah, blah. And I decided to make my own game. And Idle Rune is a RuneScape inspired game, very heavily. It's not a clone, copy, or illegal private server. Uh, you see, it's not even a competitor in any form, and it never will be. RuneScape's an irreplaceable game, and those of us who are fortunate to have it woven, in, woven into our lives in any form, especially from a young age, outright know how special it is as a, as a game. Idle Rune has been built from the ground up. A misconception of indie games is that every single asset, especially art, is created just from scratch, outright. This is quite the opposite. It's actually a common occurrence in order to save months of development time to use pre-made assets bought from other games uh, or other studios, artists, freelancers, etc. We have artists on our team, but taking this route allows them to focus on the important stuff such as content, bosses, areas, stuff like maps. Uh, they have to be created one tile at a time anyway, so being placed individually because they don't come pre-made doesn't mean that they're just some dumb copy. Um, just to cut out a second, I am just playtesting the game in the background. There are some things that I'm doing. I'm slightly cheating. I've got some admin tools. Um, but yeah, you can just enjoy it whilst I'm waffling, really. So Idle Rune is here to be an alternative, using similar systems and mechanics to give you the same categorically RuneScape feel, but delivered in a different game. Different environments, art, assets, quests, lore. Just a different take. We know of one other game developer that took a RuneScape inspired game route using the names, terminology, items, lore uh, more heavily than we do. Uh, and they also had lots of legal questioning from their community. And they also had legal advice uh, from legal counseling uh, for the entire span of their game development. That game's Melville, Melville Idol. Melvor Idol went through similar criticism in 2021. Uh, it was just a solo game project created by Malx. He outlined, just like we will use in this video, that there's nothing to worry about. In 2021, he said in responses to Reddit threads, uh, one in particular, there are a few names and references here that Jagex, uh, Jagex might not be too fancy about, but if they request he changes something, that's easily done as long as they actually own or have trademarked what they're requesting him to change. So it's the, it's the same for us. Um, Idle Rune, like Melvor, doesn't use Jagex, Jagex artwork. Although some of the materials are derived and similar, Jagex items and names generally are normal everyday items that can't be trademarked or copyrighted. And if Jagex had an issue, they would have contacted him or us by now. Obviously they did contact him. Um, and we know where that went. That went very well. Extending to the RuneScape style backend, uh, both Idle Rune and Meldor, Melvor have. Uh, it's been ins they're both inspired by it. And you can't trademark math. You can't trademark f mark, trademark functions, XP rates, values. So there's no issue to us at all. Jagex could argue in their favour, uh, but math equations are really simple to change. Um, and Idorin uses all of our own math calculations. Melvor didn't do that. They actually used exact RuneScape formulas, which is just as cool in its own right as what we've done uh, by making our own RuneScape-inspired math. So our XP rates, our linear graphs, everything is RuneScape-inspired, but we use different formulas, uh, whereas Melvor used exactly the same formulas. The last person to comment on the Reddit post was actually a year later when... It, the game had been published by Jagex, and he said they for sure did knock though, which is true. Melville's a very successful text-based idle game. It's published by Jagex, and it's made millions of dollars in revenue. The aim for Idle Rune is to either become licensed or get acquired by Jagex if we do go... In, well, just that would be nice if we continue down a RuneScape-style route. Um, we've spoken to a Jagex representative and they've told us that these two options are essentially the only options that Jagex would do. They are not lawsuit heavy. Even the, uh, even the company that owns Jagex, so it was Carlisle, I don't know who's acquired them recently, but they're 
not lawsuit heavy and they're interested in seeing how the development of viral route comes along over the next few months um especially because their company uh the holding company invests in and is looking for idle games to become part of the ip so they are interested in idle route uh, they're just letting us get on with it seeing where it take where it goes so if you've ever been on Etsy or Facebook groups and you've seen our RuneScape merch made by players, it's licensed. We just want to be the same. Um, and I've covered a bunch of stuff here. I have an ADHD. I'm afraid if I continue, I'm just going to waffle and I'm going to lose myself in conversation. So all I can say is thanks to Jagex for creating RuneScape. Thanks to the community for supporting me making Idle Rune. Uh, and I'm doing my best. So please subscribe, join the Discord, sign up for Android Early Access because access, it's launching like next week. And if you sign up in the Discord, you can join. Thanks for tuning in. I hope I see you around.